what I liked about this movie is that you kind of get to play in the Warrens kind of landscape a little bit with all these different uh, different like uh, like stories that they've investigated and all yeah. these cool things. Yeah, and then you know it's really how I start a lot of these movies is going back into I mean why wouldn't you right? It's a kind of an embarrassment of riches when you're when you're writing horror movies is going back into the Warren case files. Uh, so I always go back to their books, which you know they've written. They've written a lot, uh, and they're all super entertaining, and I highly recommend them. Um, but yeah, that's that's always my go-to for what's going to inspire me. Um, and you know, uh, being able to play around in the artifact room, I thought it was a huge opportunity to sort of also explore different subgenres of of, of of horror as well. You know, uh, maybe branch off to a little slasher with this one, and maybe go a little sci-fi with this one. You know, I thought that was really that would be a nice way to sort of change up, uh, you know, from scare to scare. Yeah, and you also have. A, well, I don't want to give too much away because there's a there is a beast there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, a little creature feature. Creature yeah, which, feature, which, 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 you know, I, 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 I've never worked on that, and uh, I hadn't seen in a while like this. So uh, that, I, I thought that was uh, I was very excited to be able to do that. That's really cool. Yeah, that's re- what. Now, was it always going to be in their house? Was it all? Was, how did that come about? That came very early on, and that's all. You know, that's you know, uh, James uh, said. You know, I really think the next Annabelle. I think it should pick up where the Warrens bring it home. And what does that do? What does it do to the other artifacts to be in the presence of something even you know so supremely evil? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's that was really the the seed of which everything you know grew out of. Um, so it started with James and just he and I talking and bouncing ideas back and forth and going, what about this? What about that? Um, so yeah, that's where it started. What was the easiest thing? I, it seems like it'd be an easy project then because you're basically limiting to one night, right? One house. That's got to be a little bit less, a little less challenging, and, and creating kind of a funhouse feel to it. The structure is there inherently, just because it is over the course of one night, which is something I wanted to bring to it too, because we haven't seen that yet in the universe. Mm-hmm, and I love, yeah. the, I love just, you know, um, I just love movies that take place over the course of one night. You know, the, you know, it, it, I was trying to think of throwbacks to like the late seventies, early eighties. Well, we were talking about Halloween. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so it was inherently the structure was there. You know, but there are challenges because you're in the Warrens house. The Warren's house is in Conjuring 2, we're an established location. We have some characters we've already established later on in the timeline. So it gets a little dicey there playing around with it. Um, so that presented its own sort of set of un- unique challenges that, you know, once you get into it, you're like, oh, I can't do that because I do this in that movie or what, you know. But, uh, but overall, it was, uh, it was just a lot of fun to actually have that uh, one location and make the Warren house the actual haunted house of this movie as opposed to them leaving their house and going somewhere. It's... It's happening in their own home. Yeah, and you, I like the focus on Judy. How, what, what was the real Judy's reaction to the film? Did you have you talked to her about it? Or? I did. I, I did talk to her. I got to talk to her last night. She was really pleased. Tony was really pleased. Her husband, and and you know that was one of the most important things to me when making this movie because I just want to be so respectful because I really respect and admire what they've dedicated their lives to. Yeah. Um, and she was really, but I thought a lot about. I mean, you're you're a parent. I'm a parent. I think a lot about what it's like to be. I thought a lot about what it was like to be, uh, you know, the daughter of Ed and Lorraine Warren and yeah. knowing what they did. And, and when they leave the house, they're going into really certain danger or you didn't know what they were going to bring back. And you were living in this house that had this room full of horrors, uh, you know, or potential horrors, I guess, you know. Um, and what that must do to her, what that must, you know, because when you're a kid, you want to be anything but different. And uh, if when your parents do something like that, it immediately makes people start to think of you as different. Annabelle is the beacon for other spirits. (laughs) Mrs. Warren? Mom? Is everything okay? Something is happening inside your house and we're not really sure what to do. Can I speak to Annabelle? I'm sorry? You need to give her a soul, dear. She wants us.